hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is timmy kenza james for new and old subscribers you're all welcome so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to sew um cosette and we have our patterns here we have our center front our middle front our side front the side back the mid front and lastly the center front panels so i'm going to be starting off with uh, center front panel so i have two for each so i have my center front two panels here i've also gone ahead to add my interfacing on all my panels so i used um a wording a very soft wording so i'm joining that together and then i'm going in with um my middle front right which i labeled two the center front i labeled one so i'm pinning it down so that everything will align nicely so i'm just joining it so what i'm doing is i'm fixing one panel on this side and the other panel on the other side so i'm not fixing from the middle towards one side what i'm doing is i'm doing the middle to the side to both sides together so that i don't get confused so i hope you understand what i'm doing so i'm going in with my side front panel right so i'm just going to sew that as well together ensuring that everything is nice and smooth right so i'm going to sew the other side before i bring my back panels right so if you are a new subscriber if you're new to my channel you're just seeing my channel don't forget to subscribe and like my videos if you find it helpful share it with your friends guys and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i have a new video up on my channel so without digressing let's come back to what we are doing so i'm sewing my back panel right i'm starting from the panel i labeled three on my back which is my side back because i want is i want my panels to be a single panel from the beginning to the end i don't want it to be separate panels and i'm sewing all my panels with half an inch sewing allowance so now i'm coming with my middle back now which is the panel i labeled two so i'm joining that together like so please guys ensure that you use your seam allowances right and you make sure everything aligns so i'm going in with my final panel which is my center back panel which is also the panel that will carry my eyelets so that's the last panel we have there so i'm just going ahead to arrange and sew nicely as well so for the allowance that joins my front and back I used half an inch throughout my panels, right? So you can do more or less on that side. On the that's on your side back, you can add more seam allowance than I did. So I'm going over to iron my my bodies. I'm starting off from the back because the back is pretty much a straight press. So I'm doing the front side starting from the underneath of the dress then the topmost side then i'm coming with my my tailor's ham to iron the breast side so i'm just going to do that and i'm i'm open pressing all my seams right so i'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing that i did to these bodies is the exact same thing i'm going to do on the lining and i'm going to be doing the lining off camera so that this video does not get extensively long right so now this is what I have. You can see it's nice and clean. Now I'm coming in with my boning. I'm using the Rigeline boning. It's actually a sew-on boning, right? So I'm going to be in between my seam allowance. I'm going to be um, putting my boning there. There are so many ways to fix boning, right? But I just choose to do this or this method. In another video, I will show you other methods of fixing boning now i'm not going to start off with the boning from the beginning of the seam reason being that i'm going to be turning my lining over with that and you really don't want your boning to be on the way of your seam line that's when you're turning in your lining so i gave 
about three quarters of an inch um, sewing allowance from the beginning and the end of each boning that I'm doing. You see, I cut off that boning at that point because I don't want it to get to where my lining is going to be turned over. So this is what I have. You, you might not see that properly. You can't see the seam line because of my choice of fabric and the color of my thread, right? But it looks really nice and firm. So I'm fixing bonings on each seam allowance that I have open there. I'm going ahead to fix my boning all through till the last seam, right? So you can see. Now I'm done fixing the boning. I'm going to add another boning on the center back piece. I'm adding two more bonings to each side of the center back. And the reason is because in between those boning, I'm going to be adding um, my eyelet. So I really want that side to be firm as well to hold my center back properly and to give my eyelet a proper seat. So I'm just sewing my plastic boning directly to my to my print right or to my fabric now if you don't have the plastic boning and you're use if you don't have the rigiline boning and you're using the plastic boning you can just make a cage where the boning will pass through right so you can use a bias tape for that that side of it or you're using a metal boning you can do the same thing you can use um, like a bias to to sew a case where your boning will pass but because i'm using the rigiline boning the rigiline boning is one which you can sew on as you can see i'm sewing on it carefully there's this slim line at the edge of the boning that's where i'm sewing on right so i'm just going ahead to make this stitch i'm going to sew two of it right so you can see I did one side and I'm adding the second line, right? I'm just going to go ahead and do that nicely. So I'm just measuring three quarters of an inch before I mark, I fix my boning. So that three quarters of an inch is what I'm going to use to turn over my lining, to close that side with my lining, right? So I'm doing the second side of my boning. So this is what it looks like, right? So now I'm going to join my lining. I'm just pinning down each seam line to each seam line. I'm matching right, uh, the right side of my lining to the right side of my fabric. So each seam is going to match each seam. If yours does not match, ensure that they do match. That's it would even if it will warrant you losing and restitching, that would be nice. So that allowance that I left initially when I was um when I was sewing down my boning that I said you don't sew to that point is on that seam allowance that I'm joining the lining. So I'm using half of an inch. And then I'm removing my pin as I sew. So I'll just chop off some of those excess allowances that I have there. And then I'll make notches or will I say cut to enable my blouse to sit properly when I want to iron them. Right? Then I'm going to just go ahead and top stitch pushing all my seam allowance to my lining and I'm going to be separating the both fabrics with my finger as I'm sewing that so I'm taking my time in doing this right now you can see properly top stitched I'm going to go ahead and do the side one side then I'll leave the other side open to enable me turn over the lining right so you can see this side is open now I'm going to do the hem right you can see this is the hem side. I'm just trying as much as I can to match uh, my seam line to each seam line to each seam line. Make sure this matches. You cannot overemphasize this, please. Make sure it match. I can't overemphasize it. So that's what I'm just going ahead to, to sew. Till I get to the end, then I backstitch. I chop off excess seam allowances. And then I make cuts 
round that side now the cut on this side will be slimmer because i'm not going to top top stitch that so it will be a shorter distance between each cut right then i'll turn over with the other center back side that i left open now i'm going to use my scissors or if you have any sharp material that you use to poke um the edges of your of your your blouse then you go ahead and do that now i'm just trying to just turn over as much as i can to sew that other side closed then i iron it nicely now i'm going to add my eyelets as you can see after closing it at the end of the day i hand stitched the other side so i'm just inserting my eyelets right so i'm using my eyelet ply i have a video where i thought on this i'm going to be linking this video up here so do ensure to watch that if you don't know how to use your eyelet plier so this is the finished look guys if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up share this video with your friends subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i have a new video up on the channel and don't forget to show me all your recreations guys you can tag me on them on Instagram, Tinikems at James. I'll be so pleased to see them. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.